Hi, it's Michael from Logic Hop, and in this video, I want to show you how we're using goals and event tracking with Google Analytics on LogicHop.com. On the Logic Hop website, we have a link that takes users off to the WordPress plugin repository where they can view Logic Hop and download it for free. When a user clicks that link, we want to track that event so we can store it and message the users when they return to LogicHop.com, and we also want to be able to track it in Google Analytics. So to show you how we're using it, on our demo site, I've created a basic page called Link Tracking. And if we take a look at this page, you'll see it's really simple. All that I have is a URL that's going off to an external page. This is going off to download Logic Hop at wordpress.org. And I want to show you one of the things that we do have installed is we have the Logic Hop Google Analytics integration installed. And once this is installed, what you'll see is you can go ahead and add your Google Analytics ID. And we can also enable the JavaScript embed. So this is going to do two things. It's going to make Google Analytics available to Logic Hop, and it's also going to embed Google Analytics in the footer of every page. You can turn this off if you don't need to embed it in the footer. One thing you'll also see is I do have enable session display checked. Now, this is for testing only, and this is very important because this will reveal some of the data on your website. So for testing purposes, this is okay. I just want to use it to show you how we're going to pull some of this data. I've created a goal called WordPress plugin link, and we'll use this anytime a user clicks a WordPress plugin link that takes them off the site. Now, in order to track this with Google Analytics, I'm going to send this to event tracking. And what I'm going to do here is I have WordPress plugin link, my action is click, and then I have two optional values from Google, which is a label and a value. I want to send some additional information here. So I want to know how the user came to the site. So in the Logic Hop website with the debugger enabled, I can use the Logic Hop variable and type in debug after that. And what this is going to do is this is going to output in the console all of the data that's available for my WordPress user. So what I can see is this is a first visit, this is not a bot, the landing page. And what I want to grab is I want to grab the source. So I'm going to use the variable source. So in this instance, the user came directly to the site. Uh, other sources can be things like google.com, um, any ad banners or so forth that we're running. So in order to send this variable here, you'll see I've got some samples in there. All that I need to do is put in the variable name. So that's going to be source. I use these double brackets around it, and that's similar to the liquid template engine. So that just lets it know that it's a variable when it gets sent into Google Analytics. So let me update this. And now anytime a user clicks that link, we're going to be able to track this in Google Analytics. Now we can test this. What we can see is if I come to my overview here, um, I am in Google Analytics in the real time view. So this is just going to show me if there's users on the site. Um, let me just reload this page. And this will show me, yep, there's a user on the site. And then I'm going to go to real time events. And what I have here is that currently there's no events that have been triggered. When I come back into my goal, what you can see is I have this text here, Logic Hop Goal 167. So that's the goal ID. Um, this is if you're going to do it manually. And that's what I'm going to do right now just to show you how this works. So I type Logic Hop Goal, and then I can put 167, and that's going to actually trigger the goal. So when I have my events open here, this shows me again that one user's on this site. And if there's any events, events per minute. So when I go ahead and trigger this, we'll see in Google Analytics that I should see my event. And then if I look at this, it's going to be WP plugin link. The event action is click. Let's go ahead and click on this and see if it gives us a little bit more information. So there's our event action, which is click, and our event label, which is direct. And that direct is being pulled from the source. So this just gives us a lot of nice data that we can put in. Uh, we could also send in things like UTM codes or query string variables. But this is one of the nice ways that we can track if the user has clicked a link. Now, the way we actually hook this up is pretty cool. If we come to our page, you'll see that, again, I have this basic link. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a class to this. So this class is going to be WP plugin link. And what I want to do is copy this. This class name could be anything, but this just is something that I can remember pretty easily. And then in the Logic Hop palette, under set goal on JavaScript event, I'm going to say on click. And then we're going to call that class. So anytime this element 
WP plugin link is clicked, we're going to trigger this WordPress plugin link goal. And you can see I need to have this period in front of it here. So let me go ahead and update this page. And here we go in our event tracking. That was our previous event. Let me go ahead and click this. I'm going to have to reload this page to see this take effect. And when I click this, it takes me out to the WordPress site, but then you'll see here another event was triggered. So once the user clicked that link, even though they're being sent out to another website, we can track that event. Now, you'll see that it still has that same event label. If I come back to all of the events, what we'll see is that we have, if I get rid of my filter here, we'll see that that WP plugin link has been clicked two times. So this is just a really nice way that we can come in and say, hey, if the user clicks a link, and that's an outbound link, go somewhere else, we can actually track that. Let me show you one other thing that we're doing that's pretty neat is on the page itself, it's great when somebody clicks a link that we can track it, but one of the things I also want to be able to do is use a condition. So I've created a simple condition, which is the user clicked the WordPress plugin link. And my condition here is the user has clicked the WordPress plugin link. So I'm saying if a goal has been set on any visit, WordPress plugin link goal if it's been completed. So now what I can do is I can say in Logic Hop is, let me go ahead and just paste this in. So this is going to say, you've checked out the plugin, now we wanna show the user something else. So with the Logic Hop conditions, I can say, if this condition is met, user clicked WordPress plugin link, insert my short code, it just wraps that up nice. When I click reload and I come back and I go back to view that page again, now, since the user has clicked that, you've checked out the plugin, and now check out our three tricks tutorial. And then we wanna send the user off to see some other ways that they can personalize their website. So we've seen this in an incognito window. Let's take a look at this again. Let me go back to that page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out the incognito windows and open a new one, paste this in, and here we go. Download Logic Hop free at wordpress.org. Well, we don't see that condition anymore, that link to show the three tricks. Now, when the user clicks the link, when we come back, you can see you've checked out the plugin. Now check out our three tricks tutorial. So this is just a great way that we're using JavaScript to be able to detect any time a button has been clicked and set a goal and track an event in Google Analytics. I hope this is helpful. This is one of the ways we're using Logic Hop on LogicHop.com. It's very powerful and there's a lot of functionality you can get out of it. If you have any questions, email us at info at LogicHop.com. Thanks.